Hey, I'm Zach Fox here at my MG Media, professional model. Let's crack up this. Marnie Simpson just got stood up, so if you're sensitive to cringe, look away now. Yous, I literally can't believe it. My date hasn't turned up. I'm absolutely gutted. I'm gutted because I've got to go home now, but I would never just stay in third wheel over Casey and his date because it's going really well. Up until last night, the Geordie star's journey to find love on Single AF was going pretty well. In just a couple of days, she managed to make two castmates and one MTV news presenter fall head over heels in love with her. But unfortunately, the actual dating side of things wasn't going so well. After being set up to go on a double date with Casey, it became clear that Mars had been let down when her mystery man never showed up in an event some people are already calling an absolute pie. It's actually quite sad, as earlier in the evening, Marnie had admitted she was quite excited to meet Mr. Wright alongside Casey's date. I'm on my double date, Izzy's just turned up, she seems so lovely, I'm really happy for Casey because she's, she's not a catfish, she's actually really sweet, I just want Alice to hurry up and get here so I can meet them. But her good mood quickly took a turn for the worse when she realised that she'd got all dressed up, washed her hair and put them lashes on for absolutely nothing. I'm so angry. Ellis hasn't turned up. Like, how can he just not be here? It's the first date. It's supposed to be making a good impression. I'm so angry about it. Ugh, boys. Am I right? Am I? Jennifer Lawrence had some extremely harsh words for a paparazzi that tried to touch her dog. Two harsh words, in fact. The superstar actress and her dog, Pee Pee, were both passengers on a private jet that had to make a sudden landing. As soon as she left the airport, she was swarmed by paps, asking her questions like crazy. Okay, that's the last one. But it wasn't until one reporter bent down to stroke her pooch that Jay Law finally snapped and called him a effing L. L is loser, by the way. Ow, harsh. Personally, I don't think stroking a dog is worth being sworn at, but maybe Jen just had no joy that day. He should have offered the dog a winter's bone. <laughs> I can't stop doing this, what's going on? Liam Payne has taken a swipe at Cheryl's mate, Khloe Kardashian, saying that he doesn't want his son Bear to grow up like her. <laughs> you shouldn't insult your partner's best friend. I did it once and she's been an angry little troll ever since. In a recent interview, Liam said the following words in this exact order. We haven't really started lullabies yet, but he loves the telly and my missus has got the Kardashians on all the time at the moment. I don't mind watching a little bit of the Kardashians, but I don't want him looking at it and being like, oh yeah, that's what we should do. What, what, what shouldn't he do? Grow up to be a beautiful, successful woman. Oh, maybe that's why they don't sing him lullabies either in case he grows up to be an egg sat on a wall. Well, the only thing we can do from here on is hope that Cheryl doesn't hear Liam's comments. So let's try not to draw attention to them. 